A beautiful Jamaican heart to everybody on this earth. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, today is day 22, June 24th, 2015. I was given like three different strains to smoke on today, so I was going to have a good day. Well, I got the strains yesterday, but I get to smoke them today. But what a beautiful day it is. Blue sky. Last night when I went to bed, there was a lightning storm over the Caribbean Sea. But it never did make it our way. Kind of a shame. I was hoping for some rain. Water my marijuana plants I'm about to purchase. Yeah, I like that one. You gonna say good morning to everybody? Yeah, I guess not. Don't he don't like talking on the camera like I do. So I uh, I don't know what we're gonna do today. I guess we're gonna have probably lobster again today. We had fish. No, we'll probably have some fish today because we had kunk and naki. A naki or one of the hell yeah, a naki. A little red. Bud that comes off of a tree and it opens up and has seeds. There they are, but these are bad, man really little but I picked a whole bunch yesterday and that's what we had for uh, dinner last night and the chef cooked the dinner so when are you going to open up your restaurant very early I want to do that well we are I well, don't mind I have the money to open up our light no he has a lot of dreams man yeah that would be you have a lot of dreams you say store first, restaurant second, work permit first. I get a work permit and then I can work here. And they can't do shit to me. That's if they give me one. So what are we gonna do today? We need rolling papers. I have to have rolling papers. And if we get rolling papers, it means we're, we're going to be walking into town to get to an ATM machine. <coughs> Let no other choice. Bear the burden. If, if, if we did have money, we, would be, we wouldn't be here. No day, we would go all over. <laughs> Only time we would be here. When we were working on the place. Or poor. Yeah, when we were. We are not poor, we just run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, we have food. At yeah. least we have food. <laughs> <laughs> that was a smart idea. Buy food first, yeah. then get drunk. <laughs> what money's left is enough to buy the rolling papers and, uh, you know, every, every, every month in Mexico, I buy all my shit that I need for the month. My toilet paper, my rolling papers, food and everything. So, and then I set money aside so I can buy fresh fruit every other, every four days. Because yeah. I'll buy like a cantaloupe and some grapes and, uh, or something else. And then eat that every the morning grapes. with some eggs. The grapes. They are expensive over here. And Mexico, no, they're, uh, they're not. I think they're like about, probably about 98 Jamaican dollars, nine, you know, nine, 98 cents. They are expensive over here. Yeah. They are sell they? them by the pound. And how much? I don't really know, but they are expensive. 
People wouldn't even give you a little one like this to taste. They won't they even give you a taste? No. Oh, yeah. fuck. Because, That's bad. Because they come from overseas, come here. You know, they're, they're, I, I'm shocked. In, in my town where I live at, they always have grapes. Yeah. And uh, they have the red ones and the green ones, just like in the United States. United States, they have grapes, it seems like, year-round in the supermarkets. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, they're importing it all from all over the world so but Mexico remember Mexico is self-sufficient everything they sell is grown in Mexico there's nothing imported there's no Chinese rice there's no Chinese beans uh, well the only you know but hey everything made in Mexico like the plastics and all that you know cookware and shit like that everything's made in Mexico just like in Jamaica just like in the United States just like in Canada it, and everything, 28 years ago, everything was made in Mexico. Anything you bought said made in Mexico. Now, 28 years later, you go in a store, everything made in, in, China. in China, except the shoes. The shoes, they're still Mexico, still kicking out some good shoes. Yeah. But there are like some imitation uh, Converse that are made in China that they're smuggling in saying it's Converse tennis shoes and that shit is made in China and I don't like China shoes I don't like <coughs> I like England shoes England shoes England shoes very strong very expensive though yeah, it's strong they give you a lot of So, uh, we need to talk to your friend and see uh, when's the best time to go to Nigeria, Orange Hill, and... You don't pass as yet, right? Eh? No, he hasn't. I'm gonna carry those things for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I guess there was an American that brought some, some seeds into Orange Hill, Nigeria, and this one guy I met, He's a grower up here, and he's been bringing some good stuff to us. But he told me he's going to bring some of those seeds that the American brought to Jamaica. Ha ha ha! So we're allowed to have five marijuana plants on this property, so we're going to take advantage of it. <laughs> we're going to take really big advantage of it. <laughs> and I'm going to try to grow the biggest marijuana plant in Jamaica ever seen. <laughs> but they say this is the best time to plant right now so uh, hopefully I can get the seeds in and uh, be able to harvest before December uh, they say in three months you're able to harvest huh yeah so so in August September right before I'll have some good smoke anyway I look forward to doing that one and this is where I'm gonna grow it at everybody right there I'm gonna just Chop me a little spot right in the center of that green grass. <laughs> put a big old yeah. drink. Put a bucket right there and put a bucket over there. Because this is the best spot to grow at right here. You know that? And I think at night time what I'm going to do is uh, when it's almost time to harvest, I'm just going to put the plants right next to me. <laughs> Sleep right next to them or put my tent right yeah. next to them. I guess there's some people, or there's a guy that's running around here stealing marijuana crops off these uh, people and everybody's paranoid and they don't know who it is. So I made a suggestion getting a, a trail camera yeah. and with a motion detector. So at night time or even during the day somebody passes by, it takes a picture of them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they'll figure out who, who in the hell that uh, person is good idea yeah that's a good idea <laughs> catch the thief catch the thief on yeah. video on picture man <laughs> track his ass down <coughs> they say here in Jamaica they just shoot him chop his body up and bury him out in the jungle and nobody will ever see him again hey where's John Doe hell I don't know so I uh, I just said, you know, just better yet, yeah, just go burn down his house and tell him to get the fuck off this mountain and never come back again. 
We don't want your kind around here. And you know what? She has seen the smiles on a couple of growers' faces. They said, hmm. Yeah, that makes some sense there, gringo. I said, hell yeah. Just have a whole bunch of buddies and you just go up there and just pass that magic. Or just tell the little boy. Send the little boy up there. Give him some money and tell that little boy to walk up there and tell that guy while he's crying on his burnt house. Hey, those people you ripped off, they said, uh, pack what's left of your shit and get off this mountain and never come back here again. But your house is just going to burn up again. Good vicious message. I know you can't do that in the United States or Mexico. Of course, you can't do it in Mexico because they're just brick houses. But, uh... I think that's what happened. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I think that's what happened to your friend's house. Why? Do you think somebody uh, caught his house on fire? That house is when you pass by when we go to that store to get rolling papers. Oh. We, yeah, but here what happened? It's like you had a girl who lived with this guy and the girl tried to leave him and he get jealous. That's all that house get caught in. Oh yes, shit. Jealousy. He called the girl out to leave this man. It was his baby father and he said, you know, I'm gonna light the house. And he go to jail for it. He went to jail for it? How many years? He thought he get something like A year and six months or something like that. year and six months? Fuck, uh, man, that's hard penitentiary too. So, uh, maybe not burn a house down is okay. a good idea. <laughs> maybe burning down a house in Jamaica is not a good idea anyway. Well. Hey, let's walk go from that. All right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go walk up on top of the mountain. We're gonna do it right now? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys. We got a good video today. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not gonna show you how to get up here because there's some private people that live up there and one of the twins lives up there. So when I get up on top, I'll show you the view, okay? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I don't want to show these places where we're going to go at, okay? Next video on top of that mountain.